Hey everybody, Jill here from Zen Spill, introducing you today to Surf Robot. This will be a quick walkthrough, just so you can kind of see what Surf Robot looks like on the admin side. Surf Robot is one of the most affordable, if not the most affordable, rank tracker out there. It's $4.99 a month for 300 keywords checked daily. So that's a pretty bargain price. It does a really good job. It is very accurate. I did a 14 day trial. I also actually tested under another account uh, 30 days and was really impressed with it. It's super fast and it's very accurate. I do use two other rank trackers. Otherwise I would be using this one as well. Um, I don't really need three rank trackers though. So that is why I'm not using it. But if I needed one, this would be the one I would go to. So quick start, you get your dashboard. Just kind of shows you uh, projects that you may have. You can put as many projects in as you want. If you want to use that 300 keywords over three different sites, you can do that. So there's a lot of flexibility with this tool. It'll tell you uh, your SERP bot team. It'll tell you if you have one or four SERP bots, SERP bots helping you out. That's hard to say really fast. Try saying that fast, SERP bot. Hard to say. So it'll tell you um, how many different bots that you have that are tracking for you. It'll give you an idea of what your workload is so you can manage everything from there. If you wanted to change your bots, you can manage those from here. You can see right now it's $4.99 a month. It's been $4.99 a month for a while. I don't know when this discount is going to go away, if ever. So if you do want to take advantage of this, I would do it now before he does raise those prices. Um, so you can do your subscriptions from in here and manage your account from in here. You can upgrade, downgrade, whatever works for you. So uh, he did a great job of just making this super easy. So let's go back to projects so you can see what goes on here. Um, so this gives me all my project details, everything, you know, just tells me how I set it up. My country, it was U.S., it was automatically filled. Um, that's what was in there. Location was auto, language auto, and region. Uh, I use google.com because I'm in the U.S. Desktop, because most of my uh, searches are from desktop. I uh, used Google to do the checks. Check frequency, check frequency is 24 hours but you can change that. So I can do every 90 days if I wanted to, which would allow me more keywords. Okay, so if I'm only checking them every 90 days or every 30 days, there's a lot of flexibility. So that is one of the things I definitely like. If you don't want to check every day, you don't have to. You could do 150 today, 150 tomorrow. There's all different settings. So these are all things that you can change. You can put in competitors if you'd like to buy on your competitors. You can email your reports to other people. You can add notes uh, if different things have happened. If you want to make a notation that a Google update happens, that's why you lost rank, things like that. Then you have your summary of your average position, improvements, how many are in the top three, top 10, top 30, top 100. So you can see, you know, I had eight out of 42 improved, nine out of 42 total keywords are in the top three, 18 are in the top 10. Then you can run different reports to do uh, different time frames. So if you want to see how you've been doing for the last three months or the last 24 hours, you can easily change these. Okay, the reports up here, there's also some options. So you can view your report for one day, two days, seven days, 30 days. So lots of options for reporting. And then you can do um, add keyword from here. You can export all your data into a CSV file. Refresh all the keywords if you need to run a check today. Say you normally set it up to run a keyword rank report once a month, but you know you're you have a client meeting today and you just want to see where they are today before your client meeting. You can jump in and refresh all your keywords if, as long as you have enough credits. Refresh search volumes um, if you want to update those, or you could delete your project from here. So this is where the real magic happens. This is what's telling me where I rank. So uh, here's my keyword, my change from the last time it checked. So if you have it for seven days, it's gonna be you know, from the seventh day versus today. If it's every 24 hours, this will be a change from yesterday. It's gonna give you your latest rank position, your best rank position, which I actually kind of like that. I don't see that in a lot of tools, so that's kind of cool. Your first rank position, so this is when you actually added it into your dashboard. And then this is search volume. I don't really look at this too much. That's a whole other conversation. Um, this, I don't know what this is. 
So I'm not really sure what that is. Um, updated, this is the last time that the volume was, uh, uh, the last time your rank tracker was updated. And this is the URL that it found ranking. Then you have some actions here. You can delete your keyword. This is tags. So I do add tags to mine to make my life easy. I did it for this just to show you how it works. So I can click this. It'll bring up an edit tag. So I added a tag called become. So I just kind of cluster it into this little thing. It just makes it easier when you have a lot of keywords. Highly recommend tagging. I use it in every tool I use for rank tracking. This icon here will show what your keyword on the graph. There is a graph below. We're going to cover that in a second and I'll show you how that looks. Then search. So if you click on this, it'll take you right to the search results. So you can actually look at the live SERPs. And then this is just a refresh. So if I wanted to run a new keyword search today, it'll do that for me. Okay. So if you have a lot, you can run a search in here for the keyword that you want to look for. And then you can apply different filters. Okay. So you want to add a new keyword, you can do that from here. And that's it. So that's your keywords. Super easy to use. You can do your sorts just like any other tool. So very cool stuff there. Now when we scroll on down below, you're going to get your summary graph. So right now I only have one keyword showing here. Um, so it's just running across for that one. Actually, this is overall. Sorry, guys. This is an overall line. I don't have any keywords showing. So let's put a couple keywords on the graph. Let's find some that we're look I actually rank for. This one, this one, and this one. So I just added three to the graph. Okay, and you can see the different colors here. Okay, so we've got our green line for one of the keywords, purple for another, and then orange for another. So this lets me see, you know, at an easy, quick glance how well we're doing. Apparently we're staying pretty stable, so that's fantastic. Overall, for all of my keywords, that's what the blue line is. We're staying very stable. And you can see the bottom. It'll give you an idea of where you are. So lots of cool stuff going on here. And different filters, so you can do, you know, a month, a week. I don't have anything for a week because I'm not tracking anything. Okay, so just really cool. You can add or, you know, see as few or as many as you want if you just want to look at one keyword. And then down here, you can just add some notes. So if you want to talk about the fact that um, Google Update 10, 29, 21, and just add a note. And that way, you know, you remember, or, you know, if you did a robots text change, or if you did something major to the website, you might want to note that in here just so you can keep, uh, keep an eye on it. Okay. And then you can do a graph action. So you can rebuild if you want to show it in a different way or, you know, just update it. So that's it. SERP robot. I hope you enjoyed this. And if you decide to try it, let me know what you think. You can leave a review over on Zenspill. Uh, let us know in the comments what you think of it. Have a great day, guys.